You know, women, we love double standards a lot. Ah, we are the ones that... True. True. Oh my Wait, I, I, no, 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 no. I, I'm not lying. I, I know true. my gender very true. well. We are, we are the ones that will do something here. True. And at the end of the day, you come and start forming the victim. True. True. You come out and sexualize yourself. It's then later, you come out and start saying that the internet doesn't like us. Um, any small thing, do it to bounce back on us. Excuse me, sister. Why did you go and propose your naked baby? <laughs> Why? <laughs> So the singer challenge has been trending for the past one week. If you haven't seen any, it just involves a bunch of men and women dancing very sexily and I must add in the nude to um, a beautiful, a very beautiful song and the video just has this really nice dark um, red effect and their bodies and their frames in silhouette. So this episode of Pulse Hot Takes will be talking about the silhouette challenge just to get to know what everybody thinks about it. So guys, what do you think about the silhouette challenge? Okay, so I think it's a very interesting one. One of the things that got me attracted to the challenge, okay, I got attracted to five sorry, so <laughs> one of the things that got me interested in the challenge is the song. Very, very beautiful song. I had to go online to check who sang it, who did it, and found out that it was something that had trended in the 1950s. And then I loved the videos that I saw. It's something that I want to see trend for a very long time. Yes, it's sustainable, if you ask me, because, I mean, you can never run out of naked people. Yeah. Which one do you like, the men or the women? Both of them, oh my dear. There was a particular guy that I saw. It is Ojuku. How do you know it was so good. It was so so good, but I don't know how they turned it around and then it's not looking like a mini porn website. I don't understand that part. Yeah. But people dancing, all saying their silhouettes, I mean simply beautiful. Then the song in the background, divine. Mm. Yes, divine. Love it. Love, love, love it. So Tony. Um, so that challenge was really good. Um I had fun watching it. Uh, I was obsessed with it the day that I, I was trending. I was screaming actually. <laughs> People that were in the office can actually bear with us. Um, so it's just nice to see beautiful black women pushing a, 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 a pop culture trend. And it was, it was good. I'm not part of the few that um, feel that I should put naked pictures or pictures that are like that on the internet because once you put it there, it's no longer just your property again. It might get into the hands of the wrong so what was your first reaction when, when you first saw it? When I saw it, <coughs> Lord of Jesus, what <laughs> has the internet turned into? Is this a phone hub? Yeah, yeah, actually, that was my reaction when I saw it. Yeah. Well, for me, I think I'm, I'm in between. I don't know. I, I can't say that I love it, but I like to see the video. So it's, it's just like, you know that feeling when after watching porn, you, you're, you're a bit remorse, sober. You're like, you're like sober, like, dear God, I'm not going to do this again. That's just how I feel. It's in between. I feel like it's it's cool to watch. If you're bold enough, you can do it. But it's not something I would do because um, I don't think, I'm still very conservative in my mind. So do you think it's I, I want. I want to, no, I can't do it. I would definitely not do it. But I have parents, they're me. I have myself because I'll criticize myself before it gets out. Not because I don't have the body, but <laughs> not to sound, not, not, body not to sound, it. yeah. <laughs> do you get it? But I would not do it because, yeah, I am me. She said something. She was like, yeah, she's not a fan of naked people. Do you understand that you can have swimsuits on and still partake in that challenge and you still have the same result? Exactly. So I don't think it's a thing with um, you being naked. That's why I said I like the whole idea behind the silhouette. I could do that with the light and then have it as a still photo. It would mm -hmm. still give the same or get the same reaction yeah. from people. No, I, don't think, no, no, no. I, think, I think the reaction is banked on outrage. Those people that have their swimsuits on and they're just dancing. In fact, they even get called out like, oh, oh my, you're stiff. Which is always on No, I know people the ones that are getting up. the mad reactions are those ones that are going the extra mile. Like the okay. ones when they erased the videos and you see, there was this one, she yes. jiggle jiggle. I'm yes. sure that's the one. Yes. But if you don't take out the filter, you can't really tell if someone is nude. I've seen some. No, they were can't. actually. You can't, you no. Can't. I saw some that were really, they had swimsuits on and they had the same mad effect. But, there are some people that were naked and you're just they're like, okay. No. For, for those who are not rotting yet, let me, let me tell you how to decode the ones that are not <laughs> The ones that are not wearing anything, it jiggles easily. 
That's coming from a pro. <laughs> How many are those watch, watch, watch Oh How man, many? like when I when I saw, it, I think it was on Monday. Uh -huh. It was on Monday. I started training. Mm -hmm. I woke up. I woke up to right. hearing the song on repeat. I was like, why? Why am I hearing this so much? But then when I started, I couldn't stop. I was on it for like an hour. Plus. Give a number. How many have you seen? Ah oh, man, I've seen at least twenty. Also, to, eh, I've seen more than twenty. Guys. I've seen 20. men, women, I've seen couple. Yeah. I've seen a lot. <clears throat> So I, I want I want before we started before we started this we were talking about how um it borders on social constructs and how morality. it's, um, it's um, morality as well and how um, it's the objectification of the black body. So I want to hear Falani's side on that. I I, I, I don't I, it's it's a twofold, right? Mm -hmm. There is no over overwhelming truth in this argument. A lot of people tend to think that it's either moral or not, or it's either good or bad. Sometimes a lot of life exists in the gray. You are not going to just come out and argue that something is. Look, the generation that we are, right? Mm -hmm. Like a large part of most countries in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Nigeria, for example, over 50% of Nigeria is under 19 years old, right? And that means a lot of Gen Z people. That means a lot of very woke people. That means a lot of people that don't want to agree to conservative standards. It's the ideas and the things that we are now. We're a social media generation. Cultures are easily over overlapping and influencing each other, right? Mm -hmm. The Western culture is influencing us. We're influencing the Western culture. Afrobeats to the world is a thing. Ankara is being won on, on, at New York Fashion Week. So. In Nigeria, a woman in the bikini might be a problem, but in the US, a woman in the bikini is not exactly a problem, depending on where she wears the bikini. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing didn't exactly start from Nigeria. This thing started from challenge culture, right? Like we've seen challenge culture over and over again. 2012, 2013, ice bucket challenge, planking, so a lot of things. But now, the internet has sort of aggregated a lot of these conversations into one place. So that's why we can see all these reactions and everything in real time. Bef and internet is now more accessible. Everybody is now on the internet, and conversations can easily transcend and become some other things. And then back to the where we are as a people. The fourth level of feminism is a twofold: people that don't want to do anything that will benefit men, and people that want women to just do anything that they want to do. So if a woman wants to do that on social media, I think she should she should do it by all means. There should be no problem with it. If it's your free will to do it, then let her do it. I don't. I don't agree with the, the argument of morality. Morality is a social construct, right? But even if you are saying um, certain things are excessive, maybe they are, maybe, just maybe. But at the same time, there is no, you can't then stamp it on the ground that, bam, you can't do this. You can't do that. Because if you want to do it, then you should be free to do anything you want with your body. So, okay, okay. I, I agree with you. Totally agree with you. If you want to do anything with your body, you can by all means do it after all it's your body but then there's also this um this defense talk like most of these women when they get attacked for for partaking in the challenge they're like oh it makes me happy i like it you what guy i feel no need to shall it if you want to do it do it Nobody knows you. Don't come here and come and start explaining to me mm -hmm. that. that, hey, that, that that's, that's one part of it. So you pay I'm a feminist. Guy, yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, if yeah. you want to show us your body and your, you have flat on it, you have curves, please, by all means, show us. If you have a long, mm -hmm. please show us. <laughs> Don't talk too much. Show it with your full chest. And um, I also feel that people that are doing it should be prepared for other things that will happen afterwards. Yeah. I mean, if I should post a picture of myself and um, you turn it into you make a meme out of it it's not it's no longer my picture the fact that i un put on my data and i posted it on ig it's not my picture anymore it's not for the whole world yeah so for instance let's assume i am i partake in the silhouette challenge and i did it naked mm -hmm. as i've posted it on twitter or tiktok it's no longer my video mm -hmm. so anything any fact that i've posted it I should be quote unquote ready for anything that's not happened afterwards. Mm -hmm. If they remove the filter, the fact that it has been edited, it's no longer my picture. It's now the person's property. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? But there's a copyright, yeah. there's a copyright yeah. thing with, 
with all it's mm. just it's just I think what what should should be what you should be saying is you cannot fault people's reaction to it. Mm-hmm. But it's still your video. Yes, it's still but your it's video. But it's not just not, your video not anymore. It's not just your video not anymore. Entirely. It's not for the internet. So anybody can pick it and do whatever they want with it. So yes. Again, it's it's not it's not that it's you can't say it's not your video. But you signed there's a te- there, there are terms and agreements whenever you join social media platforms. Of so a lot of times liability a lot of people that use your thing cannot be exactly liable for using it in a certain way. Mm-hmm. However, the only path part where we can argue in this particular context, in this on this particular issue is that, in that is a, is, a, is a issue of ethics. It's a little creepy if people post their stuff on social media like this. Post stuff in silhouette. And you then go search, find an app. You find an app. Yeah, it is. You posted it's it very, for, not it's, little. It's kind no, of creepy. You posted Wait. it for. You posted it for testy people. To you, not it. really. Yeah, yes. you posted yeah. it, but then for you, you to then to go. Precious, precious way. If, if I go to a porn site, I I go there because I want to satisfy a particular craving, right? Mm-hmm. You post your single challenge. You are trying to get me in a certain way. I don't see that it's creepy if I go and do the extra. To it see is, it. bro. Yeah, you go, it. you look for an app, you find the app, uh-huh. and then you upload the video uh, on the app or the pictures, the and then start looking. You gave, look, you gave precious. Again, I, I agree with you that. I agree with you that. I'm it's not exactly straightforward, but ethically, it's somehow. But at the same time, right, I can also see from the perspective of women who are saying that, oh, I shouldn't, um, if I do this, I. There's a premium placed on the body of, of a woman, especially a black woman. Okay. There is an excessive standard of morality, quote and unquote, placed on her as a person. Mm-hmm. She can't do this. Mm-hmm. If she does, it's a problem. If she does, it's a problem. But at the same time, a lot of people that are doing this stuff, they are doing it because of fear of missing out. True. I agree. I agree. Which is a big problem. I agree. On, on this objectification of the black body, yeah. or, the, or the, of the black woman's body, yeah. here's what I really think. It's been an age-old argument or discussion mm-hmm. where we keep fighting about how our body as blacks are perceived because over the years, back in the days, they were they, they actually put us out for display, public display. Oh, yeah. Just can I ask a question away. before you continue? Okay. This challenge is it only for black women, or is it only black women who have been involved no. in this so challenge? So, so, so why are we so, making it a black? Woman so 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 thing? look look at so it this way. Of- look at it this way. Look at it this way. Pop culture in the world generally over the past fifteen years has been propelled excessively by things that are primarily associated with black people. Mm-hmm. Okay. A lot of it. Mm-hmm. Hip hop culture is the most influential brand on, of, of culture on pop culture over the past 15 years. It is simple. Look at fashion, look at sound, look at the way people dress, the way people appear. Mm-hmm. The five brands of fashion, that, that the five things that influence fashion these days, sneaker culture, you're looking at sneaker culture, you're looking at workforce style, you're mm-hmm. looking at street style, you're looking at a lot of this. Hip hop culture propelled all of them. All the challenge culture that, has, that, that have been um, popular on social media over the past two years have been propelled like by black people, a lot of them are even propelled by hip hop, and hip hop is predominantly predominantly black. Yeah, the yeah. people that propelled this, you will see a few white women, but a lot of people that are even checking out for this since are not looking out for white women. No offense, mm-hmm. because they are not as curvy, mm-hmm. they are not as aesthetically mm-hmm. pleasing as black women. True. So they're not as sexy. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. As black women, so you have to no look offense. at why black women. It's. People, if, if anybody says it's a black woman thing, then you, you have to understand it because boss it. If I, I'm not going to watch a woman, a, black, a white woman boss it. Why am I watching a white woman? Latina, maybe I can make an excuse for you. I love you, I love you, baby. But here's the thing. So <laughs> you have to understand why, why people are going to say it's a black woman thing. But then black women try to, maybe they try to own it. But at the same time, a lot more, a lot of the videos, a lot of the Viral a videos viral were made by black women. women. A lot of, yeah. a lot of I haven't seen any white woman silhouette challenge. I haven't. Oh, okay. I've, all I've the first one I saw was performed by a black woman. All I've yeah. seen yeah. are predominantly. How many did you say? Black black I saw only one. She, she said, said the first one I saw. Yeah, like, and she the first one I saw. I think I've only seen one. So, so, look at this. Okay, let's look at it in this part of the world, right? TikTok is not exactly popular here. It's not exactly popular here. Like, under 4% of Nigeria uses TikTok. Oh. 
Instagram and Facebook, Twitter, that's where a lot of the things are really, really going viral. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of Nigerians are really consuming it. Mm -hmm. because TikTok content. TikTok, TikTok content. Because even the people that upload it on TikTok mm -hmm. will bring it back to Twitter, Twitter. Instagram, Twitter. and Facebook. Yeah. Facebook yeah. So you then look at how these people use it on these platforms and you discover that. How many videos of white women have you seen on mm -hmm. Challenge? I've seen only one. How about you? I've not seen, I've seen some. I've but seen you I mostly know. see this on the white women on TikTok. You're probably not going to see them on Twitter. They are not exactly popular on Twitter. They are, but for different challenges. No, no, we're talking about silhouette about challenges. Silhouette. Yeah. I'm not sure. silhouette. If you scroll now, if you type silhouette challenge, I shall tell you the majority. First, majority how about the first thing you see? You yes. see seven, seven black women. And so it uh, brings me back to my argument. If we are going to argue about the ob objectification of the black woman, the woman I think that the silhouette challenge just takes us back all the way back to where we started. It's pointless. Let's not even bring in that argument into it because if you are saying women, black women shouldn't be objectified, what the heck is your naked body, sexy naked body? Pre pre doing precious. Right? That's what I think. It, it, see, you are right, right? You are right. You are right. But at the same time, you can't fault women for. I'm not woke. Before we go ahead, I'm not woke. But you can't fault women for, for saying that we want to be sexy as well. Nobody is like, saying You can be that. sexy. You can wear a, 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 a bodysuit and be sexy. You can put on a conventional dress and be sexy. Again, this is women who this... are voluptuous, they cannot hide it. It doesn't matter if they are wearing a flowing dress. They can't hide it. Yes, mm -hmm. That's true. different. But you bring your naked body. What's your intent? Yeah, it's a sort of some some say it's a way to empower themselves. They feel empowered. Which is which is something that which is which I, which I, which I, can I cross on this thing? I think it's bullshit. Exactly. I don't understand how showing your body is. I think it's bullshit. Empowering. Right? No, no, I don't. No, oh, not the uh, empowerment part. Like you can say that you want to feel sexy. It's fine. But then, there's don't. Power is being sexy. Yeah, there is. There, okay. there, there is. is a lot of power. There is. Thank you. A whole lot of power, power in being sexy and confidence. And so why do then so then confidence? Yeah. See, a woman who feels sexy feels like she can take on the world. Fact. Okay. You know that yeah. if you have issues with your body, you feel a certain type of way. You walk into a room and you see women who are mad and sexy, and immediately you feel intimidated. Yes. You feel like you don't match. Yeah. But okay. the moment you're dressed right, you have curves, you have this this um this um sense of being sexy or having the perfect body that the world now agrees is the perfect body. You feel you feel like you're on top of the world. Okay. And so that's the power. Look, look, at, look at this. Sorry. Okay, sorry. sorry, excuse me. No concern. You know, women, we love double standards a lot. True. We are the ones who are true. True. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm not lying. I, I know true. my gender very true. well. Ah. We, are, we are the ones that will do something here. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you come and start forming true. victim. True. You come out and sexualize true. yourself. It's then true. later, you come out and start saying that the internet doesn't like us. Um, any small thing, do it to bounce back on us. Excuse me, sister. Why did you go and upload your sister. naked video? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Like, like, sister. Like, that, like, we we sexualize ourselves and later we start forming victims. That's what I'm saying. So the sexualization. Sorry. See, I was going to say something. There's nothing wrong with sexualizing yourself. I think we're the ones, we are the ones having an issue carrying this matter on from the people who do these videos that they are taking out Twitter. That they come out to complain. No, no, they are complaining. Yeah. Which other complaining? Chloe came out to, to talk about something. Chloe yeah. yeah. wasn't yeah. even about the silhouette challenge. That silhouette oh, challenge, she had clothes on. It was the bossy thing. And it wasn't like anything was showing that people who had I worse saw, videos. I, I saw tweets so where where they labeled. I saw a tweet that somebody posted on um a WhatsApp status saying that um men love like um how did how did the person put it? Said something like um this is a form of sexual harassment. Men do not like women. Women are not safe on the internet. Look. Blah 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 blah. Madam, why are you look, like, look, I look guys guys, guys let's 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 look at let's look at this. Brand is let's, sexy. Let's look at it this way. Mm -hmm. For a long time, right, the standard of beauty in the world was size straight. zero, straight. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, no when the Kardashians sort of sprang up in like like 15, 17 years ago, everybody started liking curves. curves. Black women for a long time, a lot of them used to complain that they couldn't find their dress sizes mm -hmm. at all of the premium brands. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, now that it's about them, they feel like the world should appreciate them more than it should objectify them. I get it. But at the same time, if you are going to upload a video of yourself on social media, I think you want to feel sexy. It's fine. The only problem I have with this in this entire conversation is saying that you are doing it for yourself and you don't want to be objectified. 
That's what I'm saying. Come on. Saying. That's the hypocrisy. Saying. You cannot argue no. for objectification when you are actually objectifying yourself. Saying. It's okay. That's what, that's it's hypocrisy. not a big deal. It's your body. Do whatever you want to do with it. But don't come and cry for later and say, hey, hey, I'm a black woman. I feel like something, something. The and I want to do it for myself. Black woman. Do it for yourself. I want Keep to do it on your phone. Guy, leave if you do it for okay, yourself, you don't have to it. put it on your phone. Yes. You want to put it out there, do you? Whatever. Yes. No, don't like, come if, back. A maker's gang, if a maker's gang decides to find the, the right app to, to <laughs> tone it down a bit, a bit. who we'll enjoy it, who we'll love it. A maker. A maker, a maker <laughs> like the chat. <laughs> So the so the bus the um the serial challenge is in the first in a row. Then we've had the bus flip the switch. We've had the flip, flip the switch. switch. We've had Charlie Charlie. Yeah. That Charlie Charlie oh, was quite creepy. Yeah, yeah I did not so sleep. Flip the switch was kind of creepy too. No, was it because was, men were dressing in women's well. clothing. Yeah, I, I the one. There, there's been quite a few that I I, I actually like. In the past, yeah. If, if I, I even like the silver challenge, maybe I, really I can like I can watch it. Yeah, I, I love it. I love the song, just like we just said. Mm -hmm. We've we've had a bunch of them, and like like um, Tolani said, it's it's a it's a culture thing now. Everybody yeah, is doing it. Everybody, everybody's jumping on it. But yeah, maybe maybe you might want to see the ones you want. You might want to be careful of the ones you want to do, or you just want to freestyle and do whatever you want to say. It's a free word choice, right? Well, yeah. it is. But well, co challenge culture these days is not exactly. It's not as organic anymore, right? Mm -hmm. The future of content now is video. In the past, maybe the future, of the, the the contemporary part of content was maybe mm -hmm. text based or picture based or pictorial, whatever. But now it's visual, right? That's why TikTok, for example, had two billion downloads in by twenty twenty. Because everybody wants to jump on that, and video is more is a is a more potent marketing tool than text or pictures or whatever else. So, if people are going to when people start creating challenges on TikTok and Trilla and all the other short form video platforms, Biscuit, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. thank you. Um, they were they were creating them because they wanted to have fun. These were Gen Z. These were Gen Z kids who just wanted to create something and go viral on social media. But then businesses and capitalism saw the potential in that. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're going to see a song like... So the song for Silly Challenge was Polanka, mm -hmm. Put Your Head On My Shoulder, and the Doja Cat record. Mm -hmm. Now, the Polanka record had been trending on TikTok for a long time. But look at it this way. There are complexities to this entire conversation. Songs from short-form video platform these days they are a form of amplification and marketing for songs. Mm -hmm. If you do, you know what happened to Don Rush after the Don Rush challenge. Mm -hmm. You know what happened to Duduke after the Duduke challenge. No, you after the No You challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a lot like that. Yeah. So labels is this are not just creating. They are not creating it around new songs like Drake created for Two Six Life, which was basically created for TikTok. Mm -hmm. Labels are trying to bring songs back. Now a song. There was a song on TikTok last year. A, a bunch of songs. Songs that were released four, five, six, seven years ago that are coming back. Mm -hmm. It's monetization because people are going to go back to listen to those things. To download, to, download, to listen to our streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. Now look, because you are going to see, the, you are literally going to see the spikes in the listens on those songs and the streams yeah. from when they started trending on social media. Yeah. Now you are going to look at um, trailer, for example. Songs that you use on trailer count directly on Apple Music. And even TikTok, the ByteDance owns a streaming platform now called Dresso. Mm -hmm. So there is an idea that people are going to argue that, oh, we are the ones that started it, we are the ones. No, you did not. Because catalog is money. Polanka released a song in 1959. Do you know how much, do you know the number of streams that it would have, it would have had on all the, all the streaming platforms since Silver Challenge became it? Mm -hmm. It's marketing. Mm -hmm. You didn't start it. Don't kid yourself. Ah, so they are playing us. <laughs> well, I'd like to give a piece of advice. Sorry. Uh, 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 Let's go. Piece Let's of go. advice. Okay. Different challenges will keep coming up. After this silhouette challenge. <laughs> oh my dear, I like it now. I like it now. They are going naked. They are going naked. See, a mother wants a mother wants to keep coming out. See, do not jump on any challenge because of the fear of missing out and do something you regret later. If you want to jump on any challenge, do it with your full chest. Do it confidently and say, yes, I did it. Okay, so don't do something that will be like, you will not go and shall I later in the future why I did it and stuff like that. Just do it and yeah, be confident and say, I did it, period. 
We are, we are never going to stop doing it because of fear of missing out. See, yeah. Exactly. See, never. if I want to say something, if I don't know that I've just made it, if you want to be naked, like, that's, if you want, that's to, never going if to you want to shoot porn, whatever, just keep making this content. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. Yeah. In the prayer was of black bones. Wait, 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 wait. In the prayer was of black bones. That's, that's why I'm here. I'm here for this. No stop. See, it's so Sodium and Gomorrah. So dear Magomara, don't reach like this. Don't reach like this before, before the flood come. But if people can try and just turn it down a bit, so some of us are want to have babies can try. Yes, yeah. before the flood comes, before the flood comes to an end. So this brings us to the end of this episode of Pause Hot Takes. I am Precious, and I've got my colleagues Polani, Rachel, and our special guest is Esther. So you can leave your comments. You can follow us on TikTok, Pause Nigeria. Thank you.